Welcome to the brief tutorial about how to mix down from Pro Tools using the Ghost Console. For this sample session, we're using a, uh, a session in Pro Tools here that is acting as a uh, tape machine. That is, Pro Tools is feeding tracks over to the mixer, and so we're going to be using the mixer as the main mix down tool, as opposed to mixing down within Pro Tools. So if we are mixing using the Ghost console, what do we have to do? Well, let's start at the very top of each channel. If we're mixing within the Ghost, then what we need to do is tell the Ghost to listen to uh, Pro Tools as opposed to listening to the micro line inputs. And that's accomplished with this reverse button here. When the reverse button is pressed down, that means that this channel strip is now listening to the tape returns from Pro Tools. That's the tape return right here. Otherwise, if this button is up, then the channel will be listening to the microphone input. So when we're mixing down, we'll press the reverse button down. Uh, further down the channel strip, we have equalizer section. We have the aux send section. We have our mix B block. But the next thing that we really have to worry about here is the channel, is the main uh, channel fader section. So what we're going to have to do, if we want to listen to and mix with the ghost here, of course we have to unmute the channel, put it up to zero here so we can get it to a good level, and then we have to assign it to a bus. We're going to assign it uh, in mix down mode here to our left right bus. And that left right then is assigning it then over here to our master left right fader. Our master left right fader, we're going to leave in the up position when we're mixing all the time. This is what's feeding the master recorder, and this is what our actual mix is. This knob above it, CRM level, control room level, this is our monitoring level. So as we turn that up or down, we're going to listen, we're going to change the level of what we're listening to. So if you think things are too loud or too soft as you're mixing, adjust this. If you adjust this up or down, you're actually changing the level of the mix as it goes to your main recorder. So this we want to keep here. If we just want to change the level of adjustment of what we're listening to, we do this. If you actually want to fade something out in a mix, then you would do that. But generally, for our purposes, we're just going to keep that all the way up for right now. Now we have a mono check and an alt button. The alt is the alternate set of monitors. So this will switch between listening to the main Tannoy monitors here or the smaller Mackie near field monitors. So whether you want to listen to these or these, you would then press the alt button. With the alt button depressed in the down position, you're going to be listening to the Mackies. We typically leave it in the up position uh, just to listen to the uh, Tannoys most of the time, but that's your preference. Mono check. If you press this down, what it will do is collapse the stereo um, image from stereo to mono. So if you're using any of the pan controls from left to right, it will automatically basically take anything from left or right, whatever, and send it all to center. So it will basically bypass the pan control. So that's a good way to check to make sure that um, if you have any effects or anything interesting going on in your mix that, uh, that it's compatible with mono. So that's just something to, to test. Just uh, one of those options there for you to look at. But of course, you won't even really hear anything unless you assign what we're listening to down here, up here. Control room source. The source, this is basically telling us, all right, what am I listening to with this knob, with the control room level? When we're mixing, we're going to be pressing mix A. Ooh, and now we hear a bass. We can hear some noise. Because now we're listening to our main left-right bus. We have our bass panned all the way left. Let's pan that center now. Someone didn't zero the console. Might have been me. So, now over here, 
we're listening to the bass. We can turn that up or down. We can monitor that differently. And we have our control room source set to mix A. We can see we have nice strong signal levels here, and we're all good. Uh, two track B is if you're listening to Pro Tools, if you're mixing in the box. Two track A is the playback from our master recorder. And mix B is the center section here, which we'll talk about later in a different video. But for now, if you're mixing down, just to summarize, each channel, press the reverse button, and that will be in the down position. Then down here at the fader, bring the fader up, unmute the channel, and assign it to the left-right bus. And then you can pan it left-right as needed. Then over here, bring the master fader all the way up, adjust your control room level, set your monitors, whether you want the alternate set of monitors. Uh, we'll uncheck the mono check because we want to make sure we're listening in stereo. And then up here, of course, making sure we assign what we're listening to to be mix A and make sure everything else is unpressed. And then you can simply repeat that for any additional faders and any additional channels that you might have and start mixing and having fun.